Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, we've got a fun one for you today. We've got a little blurb module there. When I hover over it, the text is going to flip off to the right hand side and reveal an image. Somebody requested this. They dropped a link below to a website that had something like this on it. Really easy to do. Only one tiny little bit of code that we've got to do for this. Don't let that put you off. I'll put that down below the video for you to copy and paste if you need to. Okay, well let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, let's go down. I've got a section here, blue tab. Inside it, I've got a row, the green tab. The row's got two columns in it. Let's start working on this column here. I'm going to add a blurb module. There it is. Obviously, put your title in there. Put whatever text you want in down below here. I'm actually going to use an icon for mine today, so I'm going to flip the switch to use icon and put in whatever icon you want there. Down below, you can link this if you want to, and they will be able to click on it, even though it's spun over to the right. You can still click on it because we're actually using padding for the trigger, so it, it's actually still on top of the image, but we're going to make it transparent. Great, well, let's give it a background. Okay, let's perhaps make it purple this time. Let's move this over here so you can see what's going on. Okay, well, let's just design it a little bit. We'll go to my image and icon here. I want the icon to be white, perhaps. Not quite as big as that. Let's give it 50 pixels. Of course, you make yours exactly how you want. If we roll down a bit to our text, I'm going to pop the text in the middle. Make it light in color so we can actually see it. And let's give it a bit of padding all around down in spacing here. I'm going to give it 50 all around. Just put in the 50. It'll put the picks in for you. Hit the chain. It'll do the opposite side. And we'll do same for left and right. Fantastic. OK, of course, now we want to have an actual image that's going to appear when this rolls off to the right hand side there. If you've seen any of my text to image things before you know how to do this we're going to save this we're going to go into the row the green tab and the image itself resides in the column we're working on column number two column one column two let's go into the column one we'll go down to background let's add a little background image Now, of course, we can't see that image because it's behind our blurb module. But a couple of things I need to do while I'm in the column. When we roll this off, I'm going to give it a lot of padding on the bottom so that we've got something to trigger it by. Like I say, if you're going to link it, you're going to need that. And also, if you don't put that there, once it rolls off, it's going to think the mouse is not on it and roll back straight away. Background image is fine as cover and center. Obviously, you fix yours what works for you. So what I need to do with this, I'm actually going to go over to the advanced, to the custom CSS, and here's the little line of code I was talking about. Go down to main element, and it's really simple. All I'm going to do is give it a fixed height. Height, colon. I'm going to give mine 300 picks. Now, these hover effects work best on desktop sites. If you're going to be using it on tablet and mobile, it will still work. They'll have to click on it rather than hover on it. Hover over, and this is common to all Divi modules. Some little icons will come up. Hit the little mobile phone looking icon, and you can set a different value for tablet. May need to give it more or less height there. And a different one for phone. As you can see on the phone, you'd have to do a bit of adjusting there. But that's if you're going to use it on those devices. OK. Let's go back to where we are. Great, so we've got it in there. We've got an image behind it. We've given it a fixed height. But when it rolls off, I don't want to see it spilling out of our column here. So still in the advanced, I'm going to roll down. I'm going to go to visibility. And when you roll over, anything that falls out of that column is going to be seen at the moment. That's called overflow. So I want to hide that both on the horizontal and vertical. So I'm going to click on there and flip both of those to hidden. 
Fantastic. Right, we're all good to go with our column. Let's save our changes there. Save the main row changes. We'll go back into the actual module itself and position it how we want to position it. Okay, design wise, let's go down right to the bottom here. You're going to find transform. What I want to do is I want it to sort of pivot off of this corner. But there's a couple of things we've got to keep in mind. I'm going to give it a lot of padding on the bottom, like I say, so it covers, so it can be triggered. So we may need to adjust that. So I'm going to go over transform origin, which is the point at which it rotates around. At the moment it's set to the middle, as you can see there. I'm going to put it on middle right over here. Then I'm going to go to my actual transform rotate so we can rotate it. Now I don't want it to rotate unless the mouse is on it. So again, common to all Divi modules. If you go up over the dark writing, little icons will appear. There's your little arrow. Desktops when the mouse is not on it, I want it to be just like that. When the mouse is on it, it's the hover state here. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to rotate it to where I want it. Just like that. And it's kind of rotating, not quite in the right place. But that's okay, you get the idea. So what I'm going to do, I'll leave that where I want it, which is just over 90 degrees. 90 degrees means it off to the right there. But if we come back to desktop mode, I'm going to give it a lot of padding on the bottom. I know this is 300, so I'm going to make it 600. I've got an extra 50 padding there, so I'm going to make mine 650. Now you won't see it because we've hidden the overflow. So still in design, let's close that one up. We'll go back to spacing. Unchecked the little chain. Let's give it 650. Now like I say, you can't see any changes there, but if I go back and rotate it now, let's close that up, back to our transform, back to the hover state, it's rotated up like that. And this little bit here is what you can see of our 650. We need to give it a little bit more. So let's go back to the desktop state. Let's make that 850 perhaps. Or 800, round it up. <laughs> go back up to spacing. Let's make that perhaps 800. Back down to our transform. Now when we hover, that's great. We've got a little bit of a gap on the top. That will work, but if they happen to put their mouse up here, it's going to make it flicker. So let's go to our transform origin. At the moment it's in the center. Let's just take it up till it covers everything there. There we go. That seems to work. 44%. I'm going to make sure it's the same on both. So we got 44% on hover and on desktop. Great, that way when we flip it, it's got all that padding on the bottom that we can use it either trigger a link or when we take it off, it'll flip back. But of course we don't want to see that. We want to see the image behind. So to fix that, still in design, let's turn off the transform. We're going to go into filters just above it we roll down we've got one called opacity which is the amount you can see through it well when we're not hovering over it let's get our little hover state and desktop state up let's flip it back to desktop desktop state we want that unless of course you want to see a bit of it through there you can make your background a bit transparent hover state we don't want to see it at all so I'm going to take that all the way down to zero and there's our little image right there so desktop we've got that hover we've got that now the time it takes to actually complete that from desktop to hover with Divi by default is 300 milliseconds if we go over to our advanced down to transitions there's the 300 default I like to slow mine down for a bit of drama let's slow it down to maybe three quarters of a second 750 milliseconds and my go-to transition speed curve for hover effects is usually ease in and out that way it eases back out again once you take your mouse off but they'll all work they're all subtly different so do check them out some will work better than others in certain situations 
Great, well if we've done everything correctly then, we should be good to go. Save our changes. We'll save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. And here we go, there's the first one that we did there. And here's the one that we've just done here. And that's a great little effect to have on your site. I hope that's what you were looking for. But either way, that's a great little effect to have. So there you go, guys. There's how to create a text -to image flip effect on Hover with the Divi theme. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.